Good morning, YouTube land. It is Sunday, June 18th, which means it is Father's Day. So for all you fathers out there, happy Father's Day. It is a beautiful day where we're at. It's supposed to be 80 something and sunny. So hopefully you have a good Father's Day. Don't wait on your children to contact you. Reach out to them, tell them how much you love them. Because you never know when you might not get that chance again. So my wife asked me the other day what I wanted for Father's Day. So, being the romantic that I am, I leaned in and gently whispered into her ear what I wanted for Father's Day. She slowly pulled back away from me and looked at me and said, Oh my word, I wasn't going to do it then and I'm not going to do it now. And I said, okay, then we'll go boating. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting ready to go boating, getting ready to hook the truck up. We're gonna load up all the essentials and foods and drinks and looking maybe about an hour to get down to the lake. So we will see you once we get there. Beautiful Sunday morning, Father's Day boating. We made a pit stop here at the Golden Arches. My belly was grumbling. He's probably ordering like 10 breakfast burritos. Oh, here they come. And he has to go back because <laughs> they're missing his fritter. Always check before you leave, right? Yes, I told her to check. That's a good girl. I don't understand why guys don't check <laughs> before. Did you get your fritter? I got your fritter. My fritter? I got you an apple fritter. Oh, thank you. Did you get what I asked? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ford is great. <laughs> Look, everybody. Hash brown pocket. It's a hash brown holder. Not just a cell phone holder. Hash brown holder. I love this truck. <laughs> this is not sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> has to find our park pass. <laughs> Lost our park pass. Mm -hmm. Might have to just buy a new one. I'm gonna look in the boat. Scour the truck. Okay, let's start with the park pass. We didn't find it that day, and we did have to buy a new one, but we did find the old one after we got home in my wife's purse. Now granted, I'm sure she gave it to me at some point and I was gonna put it in my wallet and I'm pretty sure I set it down somewhere and she probably picked it up and put it back in her purse. So it's probably technically my fault anyway, but it's okay, we will probably just find somebody and give it to and pay it forward. Here's where everybody's like, hey, let's just not pull close together and get ready. Hey, girl. I said, hey, girl, need a lift?
We made it to the lake. We're gonna go try to find a nice spot to anchor up and relax and enjoy the day. fish in that spot so we're going to go get some worms maybe try a different spot that spot no fish there are no fish in this entire lake anywhere anywhere rental boat. You can tell because of the way that it is. What did you lose out there? I'm gonna go save a bobber. <laughs> it's my favorite bobber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See it way over there? No? Oh, oh, now I do. That'll wake him up. Three hours later. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful scenery. He looked back to see if I could probably go and save him. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. I have to go save him. Use your pectorials. I think he's from over there just to take a break. Is this so I'll get in and save you? Got movement. It's like having my own Yeti. That's right. Climb that tree that fell in the water. I know as soon as I turn this camera off, something will happen. You ever gonna come back? Maybe. Come on, you can do it. Maybe if I if I throw a Twizzler in there, you might come out. Hey, I also have to film this in case something sucks you down. I mean, I can't get you or anything, but when the news stations ask, I'll show them. Almost drowned for a 69 cent bobber. Yep, that's my husband. Totally worth it. So this is the spot where we pretty much stopped fishing. We went, got some worms. We tried every spot in the lake. No luck on the fish. I'm still convinced there are no fish anywhere in that lake. Two times out, zero fish can't possibly be me. I'm an expert fisherman. Gotta be the lake. Well, we made it out of the lake. Everything is back up on the trailer. Everything went pretty smoothly. Surprisingly, most alarmingly, is first try centered on the trailer. That is a bugger if you have to try to get that centered. And then we were debating whether we got warm food or ice cream and there's a great little ice cream shop down the road but roosters roosters pretty Bruce. sure Bruce. it would give me the screaming demons roosters. you know from the lactose intolerance so instead he went for something that's gonna give him that all through the night <laughs> yeah we're going to Chili's which will probably give me the screaming demons anyway I'm a pretty good swimmer and I didn't think anything about it going to get that that bobber without a life jacket and I don't know if it was the water temperature or if it was anxiety or a health problem whatever it may be but by the time I got to the bobber I really thought I was going down the it's only a couple minutes worth of footage in the video 
but it was probably a 20 minute venture. I said, once I got the bobber and swam to the edge, I, I, was, I was really actually pretty scared. So I sat in the water after I got to the, the bank for a good 10 minutes before I decided to walk down the bank and get closer to the boat. Really contemplated having her come and get me. It was extremely scary. So this was not clickbait. I, I, I don't think I've ever been that close to going underwater or that tired and my heart was pounding. It, it was it was pounding rough and I was so upset either with myself or the situation but it, it was really a, a scary thing so it don't matter how good of a swimmer you are or what age you are you're gonna get in the lake you're gonna swim away from the boat you need to put a life jacket on or have some sort of flotation device kind of changed the rest of the day I just kind of wanted to go and we went to another spot in the lake where it's a little bit calmer and just kind of rested and enjoyed the rest of the day. First time I think I ever fell asleep on the boat and I think it was just from, I was so tired afterwards. But a word to the wise, if you're gonna get off the boat and get into the water, wear a life jacket because drowning isn't like what it is in the, in the movies. People just disappear under the water. And she was joking about it, but I know she kind of had in the back of her mind that she really thought she was going to have to come get me and I kind of wish she would have and I was thinking the same thing that I really wish she would have come and got me but everything turned out okay lesson learned next time I'll know better not all was a bust for the day though my wife and daughter did get me a new grill which I love and we're gonna find a way to mount it to the boat so while we're out we can have hot food and not just cold sandwiches and snacks so I'm pretty excited about that we just got to figure out a way to get it to hook onto the boat. And again, I know it's a month after Father's Day. Other things just kind of come up, kind of got in the way of finishing the video, but I guess it won't matter. Six months down the road, it's not gonna be Father's Day anyway. So again, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. It is a very underrated holiday. So happy Father's Day, hope you had a good one, and we will see you on the next one. And please don't forget, thousand subscribers we're giving away some hats or if you'd like to purchase a hat the information will be down below